Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is a deck unboxing video for the Lunar Soul Tarot. This is actually the second printing, um, second edition. I have the original edition. Oh, look at this deck. Look, look how much I use it. The box is, <laughs> the box is pretty bad, which is kind of the reason why I bought the second edition um, to get the new the new deck. I will do a comparison video of the two, but um, yeah, it's got Mike. Medagalia on there and obviously it's still got um Mike there but um they now go by K Mad Madagala Galia Madag Madaglia I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong but yeah and I, that I love that because I am a K I'm a Kaylee so um yeah anyway let's get into the box so this is obviously the new edition of it to just come out um I bought two copies by accident I don't know how I did that but I did um, so let's see what we've got. Let's just take the plastic off. So we have um, the Lunar Soul Tarot by Darren, Darren Schill and Mike or Kay Medaglia. Uh, the founders of Liminal Eleven has the Hermit image on the side and Temperance on the other. And then it has obviously the details on the back. Um, it's in these, I love these so much, these magnetic boxes that flip on the bottom. And then this is the top, the Lunar Soul Tarot with that lovely seagull. Sorry, my child is home. So if you hear random noises, it's my child. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. So we open up the bottom. So it has this gorgeous thing. It's a poor sort of memory that only works backwards. Lewis Carroll. I love that. And then we have Liminal 11. It has the light at the crossroads imagery, either side of the barcode at the bottom. And then obviously liminal11.com is their website. And then it has the same as the Modern Witch, Cosmic Slumber, New Chapter Tarot, um, White Newman as well. They all have this style of box. This one feels tighter than the others, though, for some reason. Oh, look at this. It has the world. So we have the death card on the outside. I love that they do the decoration on the outside of the boxes. There's a moon and then the world. And the sun and the moon there. Lunar Soul. Beautiful. Even the inside has imagery on it. I love it so much. I really love it. Right, I'll put that to the side for a second. Um, okay, that's good to know. They have they've got the removable cardboard. I think it was Cosmic Slumber. It was stuck in. Um, some people keep leave it in. I mean, I personally take it out because it just feels better to have it out in my thing. Even the inside looks. So that's got the lunar the moons all down the inside. I don't know if you can see that imagery in there. The moons stretch down the inside. This has the suns stretched down the inside of the lining of the box. It's cool, it's really cool. Uh, the guidebook, I'll get to that at the end. I like to flick through the cards in case somebody's here just to see the cards. Take the plastic sleeve off of that. So we have the lunar soul. So this is this um, it's the same back imagery as the Lunar Soul, the original Lunar Soul. Um, but let's see, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Actually, is it the same? <laughs> Sorry. No, it had a border. That's what I thought. I thought there was a border. There was a border on the original. Slightly different colours as well, like shades. But um, that's cool. That just means the new deck has a slightly different energy. I'm just going to pop them back in that box. I think I'm going to have to take it out of the box at some point soon and put it in a tarot bag, but we'll get there. So we have the fool, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, the lovers, the chariot, justice. Oh. The Hermit, The Wheel of Fortune, Strength, The Hanged One, Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, I love that Judgment figure. The world, and then we go into the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, 
the three of wands, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, and the ten of wands, the page, the knight, the king, and the queen of wands. And then we have the ace of cups, the two, I love this image of the two of cups, the three, the four, the five, six, seven, eight, the nine, the ten, the page, the knight, the king, and the Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three, the Four, the Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine of Swords. Wow, that is up at night with anxiety. And the Ten of Swords, and I love the flowers on this Ten of Swords. Uh, the Page, the Knight, the King, and then the Queen of Swords. Then we have the Ace of Discs, the two, the three, the four. How's he going to pick his key up? That was always my question. How's he going to get his key? If he's um, the Five of Discs, the six, the seven. I always want that plant pot too. The eight, the nine, the ten, the page, the knight, the king and the queen of discs and then we have oh Wu Wei duality oh wow find out what they are in the um i love this i love this artwork so much duality sun and moon light and dark fire and water Wu Wei. um Let's see how they shuffle. I'm going to riffle shuffle and see how they go. So it might shake a little bit. And I'm sorry if it does. They riffle quite well, actually. They feel um, like a papery texture in a good way, though. They are decent. They're not bending. See, even riffling, they're not bending. They're not bending out of shape. They are staying straight. Um, I love this deck. It's one of my personal favourites because it hands you your rear end. Um but in a really like it's like your best friend it tells you some hard truths but because it's like so pastel it's almost like sugar coating it a little bit um i mean the truth's there it's just being handed to you in a way that makes it palatable um the cards are um well then they don't bend too badly um individually being bent like that they're quite th they're decent thickness traditional tarot size they shuffle really well. I mean, obviously, they're going to take a little bit to using to stop them clumping a little bit. I don't know if this is the same cardstock that they just used on White Newman, though. But it's not a bad cardstock. I do like it. I do like the cardstock. Okay, let's have a look at the booklet. Ace of Wands. It is inspiring. The Lunar Soul Tarot. So these always come with these cute little um, hardback books. Lunar Soul Tarot instructional booklet. Number 11. Number 11. I love that. That's from the lovers, I think, that image. Um, I always love the imprint as well. <laughs> Dedicated to Scarlet and BB Shill for the for being the light of the sun in the time of the moon. Darren Shill. Dedicated to my mother, Marikita Medaglia, for showing me the wondrous mysteries of this world. I love that. There you go. So we have the foreword by Darren, introduction by Mike, who um, they've changed their name to Kay, uh, Major Arcana, that's the chariot. And then we have the number, the title, a colour image, I love a colour image, a little quote and then an explanation about each that card. The magician, I love the fact each card title <coughs> sorry, has their own little kind of imagery even within the title all the way through the major arcana um let's get to the star the world 
And then we have number 22, Wu Wei. Um, an exclusive card and duality is number 23. Um, I like that. To act in accordance with destiny, nothing is simpler, nothing is harder. When we exert all our strength and effort, do we achieve... Do we achieve the most when we demand that our views are correct? How many do we convince? Is the victory that is Pyrrhic merely one step towards ultimate loss? Picture the stream. It flows across the land, adapting to the contours in harmony with the rocks and valleys. And slowly, gently, with an almost invisible display of force, the land erodes and submits to the way of the stream. Learn to allow. Do by not doing adapt take the shape of the circumstances you inhabit and then from within gently do enough just enough so that you influence your influence may turn the tide thus do we begin a story with the legacy in its heart with a legacy in its heart i love that and then we have duality the wind settles the seed of opposition at the zenith of self-assurance and in turn we and we turn and we grow where lies absolute reality when one thing dep depends upon another the great without the small, the beautiful without the homely, active without the passive. For each side, there, are, each they are merely two sides of the same mountain, one bathed in light and the other bathed, cooled in shade, both of equal value. How do we judge by our own absolute standard when a truth for one may not be so for another? Our inner worlds, perceptions, experiences, each as unique as fate as our fate. What is fair to one may be in an injustice to others, and in trans. Zignant binary rarely crossed. Observe the duality and know that iteration perspective defines all. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. <laughs> okay, the minor arcana then it goes into. And then it explains the suits. And then obviously a bit about the minor arcana. And then it goes one. So it has uh, the ace and the explanation for each of the cards. Working its way through with queen at the top of the hierarchy. And we have cups all the way through the 10, page, knight, king, queen of swords, same, all the way through to the ace to the 10, and then the court cards. And then we have the discs, and the same, through to the 10, through to the king and the queen. And then we have how to read the cards, a few gentle tips, keep a journal is a good one. Spreads to you, so you have the four card spread, a relationship spread, a Celtic cross, the lunar soul spread, um, and then obviously that gorgeous image at the end. Um, in between black and white is not grey. It is all the colours of the world in the world. I love that. And then we have the inside cover. I love this deck so much. I mean, I love this deck so much. It is one of my favourites, absolute favourites. It's so gentle and yet it tells the truth. Um, it's beautiful and I love the way this just slides in and out and that's shut. And that is solid shut, even though it's not that hard to to uh to do anyway that was the lunar soul tarot the new edition in this gorgeous box which is so so protective um all the decks that are like that i think i've got um white newman around here somewhere nearby um and cosmic slumber i might even use cosmic slumber on my life tonight who knows anyway um i hope this has been of some use to you hopefully i will see you again soon bye for now